Ahoy bitches and bros and non-binary hoes. Welcome to another episode of Rob Your Reviews. Today we're taking a look at Marvel Spider-Man. Insomniac's Magnum Opus. Um, I replayed this game again recently. I was itching for some Spider-Man and I decided to play this again. So I'm going to review it for you guys. Because why not? And right off the bat. God this game looks incredible even to this day. My god. I can't believe this game is like. Like five years old. Like almost like. Yeah, it's like six, seven years old at this point. And it still looks great, man. It still looks fantastic. The graphics are still wonderful. I played, like, the PS4 version. I didn't play the remaster. Mainly just because I don't think Peter's new face works well in that game. It's very clear they didn't make that face for that game. So you get a lot of really awkward animations with his face. It's very clear they made it for Miles and, like, Spider-Man 2, but not this game. So, I, I use the old face, and I think it still looks great. I, it still baffles me why they changed it, because I th still think that face looks better. But overall, the graphics all look wonderful. Just, goddamn, everything looks so great in this game. And of course, the gameplay is phenomenal. If you, I hate to say it, but if you want to feel like Spider-Man, this is like the best way to go. It's very fun, it's very addicting. Just clobbering some criminals, just shooting webs. And obviously the swinging is like the highlight. In most games, when you traverse areas, when you travel, you don't really look forward to it. It's always like a big fucking slog. But in this game, you look forward to it. I I never fast travel. The swinging is so fun. It's so goddamn addicting. Like, fucking, I don't even think Fent is addicting as the swinging in this game. It is so just fun to just swing around just endlessly. Just vibing and using and just swinging around. And it just gets better and better in each entry in this game. I really love the combat. It's very reminiscent of the Batman Arkham series. Like it takes a lot of inspiration from that. But it uses Spider-Man. So you have his acrobaticness and like the webs obviously. And it works very well. It's like putting two amazing like formulas in a blender and seeing what comes out of it it's it works so fucking well i also think a lot of the gadgets are absolutely wonderful my favorite like special attack is the web blossom just just like a 360 just blasting everyone with webs it's it's very op but like once you get it you just can't stop using that shit it's so fucking good man holy shit a lot of the gadgets are very very good but, like, really, once you get that, you have everything you need. <laughs> There's just so many gadgets to use. I also really like the impact web and, like, the the shock web. I think that's great, too. And the web bomb, that's very fantastic. Just a lot of great gadgets to use at your disposal. And all this is complemented by a great Spider-Man story. Just... A really fantastic story of some fantastic villains, like Mr. Negative is the main villain. And it really showed how cool that character is. And obviously we got some like classic villains like Shocker, Kingpin, Vulture, Electro. So there are a lot of great villains here and I really like a lot of their adaptations here. And the story is fantastic as well. There's a lot of there's a lot of story arcs in here that are very, very good. Obviously my favorite being the uh one with Peter and Otto, I think, is the best one by far. But there's not there's not a bad story arc in here. All of them are great. Like all the characters are great too. This is a great adaptation of Peter Parker and Spider Man. I really fucking like this Spider Man. I like this one so much. I hear his I hear Yuri's Lowenthal's voice when I read Spider Man comics. He has become that iconic to me. Just a great adaptation of a character. It uses all like the classic things we love about Spider-Man, where he's like very down on his luck, but he finds like hope, and he has the strength to be a hero. It has all of that in this character, and it uses it so well. So, you know, it has all the classic things, but it makes it original in its own way. It's very interesting. Other characters, I really like a uh, Yuri. Um, Aunt May is great in this game. Uh, I don't know if this is a spoiler now, but Miles is great in this game. It, this game also kind of serves as an origin story for Miles, too, which is very good. 
And I, I actually do like MJ. I know a lot of people give her shit for these game series, but I really like MJ. I, I think MJ's a great character in these games. I will say I do think she's very unlikable sometimes. I don't mean to sound like one of those dudes, but she does come across as a bitch sometimes. There's especially like one part that's really egregious where uh, she's in like a tent with like the Sable guys. And it looks like she's about to get shot by one of them, but Peter comes in and saves her. And she gets really pissed off about it. It's like a giant misunderstanding, but it's like, like from the way Peter sees it, like how can you think any differently, you know? And she just fucking lets loose on him and just gives him so much shit for this. And I just thought it was really unnecessary and thought of, I thought it was really stupid. Like it just really, I don't mean to sound like one of those dudes, like one of those like idiots who have never been near a woman in their life i was really starting to understand those dudes but it's really just a few scenes where she's really unlikable but overall she's a great interpretation of mj even though she's really just lois lane but i don't know i like it it's a good it's a good dynamic with peter the boss fights in this game like the villain fights are all excellent i really like them my favorite is uh Obviously, the last one is probably my favorite, but I really like the Electro and the Vulture one. God damn, that fucking fight is amazing. And we are complimented by a great variety of side missions. I really like the side missions. <laughs> They're really fucking, like, addictingly fun. There are some that are better more than others, but most of them are really fucking fun. Uh... I think my favorite is probably the backpack ones just because there are these backpacks that Peter scattered around the city when he's like changing into Spider-Man and they all have like a little trinket in them that's like something from his past like you'll find like uh like a, a Daredevil business card like a Matt Murdock a Nelson and Murdock business card and you'll get some lore about that or I'll have like a school paper he did and get some lore about that it's very cool it's a very creative way to get insight into this Peter's past so those are probably my favorite. My least favorite one is the screwball ones. I I fucking hate screwball. I'm just gonna say it. Basically, screwball is this like villain who's like an influencer, and she she's literally a cloud chaser. It's an insom it's a new insomnia it's an insomniac original character, and it fucking sucks. Any mission involving her is terrible. I really think it's just because we've seen like this personality in real life all the time with like influencers and cloud chasers who will just like do the most degenerate things for clout and attention so i get what they're going with this character but it just doesn't work it fucking sucks especially when you have like other villains you know like like mr negative electro shocker like all these villains are just so much better than her it's just like and they devote all of the dlc side missions to her for some reason and they all fucking suck. The missions themselves aren't that bad. It's just... I just cannot stand this character at all. It is just a really crap character. That I don't know why Insomniac pushed so hard in this game. But luckily after this game, she's like non-existent. So I really think they heard the feedback on her. And we're just like, yeah, just fucking delete her. Yeah, the screwball sucks. And speaking of DLC... The DLC is fantastic. They added these like story expansions where it features like characters like Black Cat, Hammerhead, Silver Sable. And I think they're all wonderful. I think they're all just great little side pieces. I really enjoyed them. Other than the screwball side shit, that sucked. But mainly you're just going there for the like the, the story expansion, and I think they're great. Overall, uh, I'm just gonna straight up say it. This game is getting a 10 out of 10. It has some flaws in it, but I honestly can overlook them for how great this game is and how big of a Spider-Man fan I am. Like, this game just does Spidey so fucking right. It's unbelievable. Like, they have... Insomniac really understands this character. I really think they do a great job with it. And I've... <laughs> I have a really silly nitpick, but... I don't like how... I forgot to mention this, but the suits are... There's so many suits in this game, and they're all... Most of them are really fucking good. They all look so great, and they all look like what they're supposed to look like. But you guys know, I'm a fucking Toby, like, nutsucker. 
and I don't think his suit looks anything like uh, the movies. I this is very nitpick. I'm gonna sound like one of those Spider-Man fans that just nitpick everything to death, but. His suit just looks nothing like the movies at all. They did a much better job in the second game. But it just looks like the concept of that suit. It doesn't actually look like it, if you know what I mean. Like, I think the eyes are too white. I think the lines are too, like, bright. I, I just don't think it looks like it that much. But yeah, that's that's really about it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.